Hello and welcome to the first part of the New England Patriots offense. I decided this is going to be the next ebook that I'll be doing totally for free on YouTube. Yes, if you didn't, if you missed the last video, I finished up the Panthers Gun Bunch ebook with all, with some more informations in there that are really really good. So you guys should definitely check that out. I'll link it up there in the card above. Now, let's talk about a slot offset and the ace formations. Um, the most important thing is to set our audibles before the game because we want we want to audible in between ace close, ace slot out, ace slot, and then gun ace slot offset. So. For the other side formations, it's just important we have a stretch and the inside run out of those formations as our audibles. So ace close has a uh, halfback stretch and halfback zone weak. Sadly, no dive, but what can you do? And ace slot has halfback dive and stretch alert bubble. That's a dive and a stretch. Also, the audibles for ace slot also we want to go through our 0-1 trap in, in inside zone. Now, before getting into the setups, I want to remind you guys that you should you should subscribe to the channel if you want to. Uh, like be updated on all, on all the news on all the new plays that I'm gonna be releasing on this ebook. You should definitely subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified, and recommend it to some friends or recommend me to some some of your friends uh, who who you feel like might be interested in this kind of content. Now the most important thing out of this is to just run the ball. So I'll audible in between some of these runs right here, and I'll come out in cover three sky because. Uh, in big nickel cover the sky because this is what you'll mostly be facing this inside zone it's very nice even though i have terrible run stick the blocking is pretty good the o-line kind of gets an edge it's very heavy personnel uh with two tight ends so it's you have a lot of blockers in the run game also this o-1 trap is really nice you guys know how difficult trap is to attack in madden so or how difficult trap trap is to stop Another thing that I like to point out is that you can, if you want, instead of putting in inside zone, uh, you can put um, PA bubble as an audible. But sometimes I've noticed this out of some formations that have uh, such RPOs. If you audible to a PA bubble, it moves a bit, but right, right there it actually doesn't. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. But then you just have the, yeah, just, you just have an RPO. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just read what's open. So audible to PA bubble all right in this case I just run the ball get a couple of yards very very easy now you can obviously also audible down and this is what's what then makes this uh, scheme really interesting so if I just want to run a stretch I just audible into a slot uh, single back a slot and just hand it off very very simple stretches are good dives are good if you want to it's really just about reading the defensive front so for example if I see this right here I want to audible into single back a slot and run a dive if he pinches the line then i want audible to a stretch it really is just about reading the defensive front and it's usually it's pretty easy to see if you have something in the run game for example if the middle looks open like that then it's a very good time to run the ball yeah that's pretty much all there is there also are and i want to point this out there also are some pretty good passing plays out of um, a slot and a close. I'm not. I'll, I won't be breaking it, them down in this video. This video will otherwise be way too long. But if you want to get the full doses, of course, once again, subscribe. Be, get notified whenever I put something out on this uh, offense, and then you'll get you'll get the written written down version of all these plays once I'm finished. Now. Let's get into the passing plays out of a slot offset, which are really good, so you should definitely check all them out. Timestamps in the description. Let's go. Sorry, I forgot to say this in the video. Uh, my bad. The personnel that you need for this offense is a tight end apprentice, a backfield master, a slot apprentice, or if you don't want any of that, but you still want to run the, run the offense that I'm running, you can also get the hot rod a hot rod master cornerback. Uh, just make sure he has high throw power because we want to sling the ball all, all over the field and we just gotta make sure that we can zoom it in there in really tight windows so yeah so i didn't mention that in the video i kind of forgot but tight end apprentice backfield master slot apprentice or hard run master everything besides that is optional i'd recommend you to get a route technician on the slot apprentice guy but that's just me all right the first thing that i want to talk about is beating man coverage because that is one of the most important things in this game because, yeah, people just run man coverage. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But I want to explain to you how I beat man coverage. Mostly, I run the ball. Because I want to make people a little bit more afraid of coming out in sets that have too many DBs. For example, if my opponent comes out in big dime one for six. 
and has man coverage out there with six DBs, I think that's almost impossible to move the ball on just because of how good man coverage is this year. So I want to force my opponent to come out in sets that don't have that many safeties, uh, don't have that, or don't don't have that many DBs just in general, and just force them to put in linebackers or some heavier personnel to stop the run. So that's why I always want to establish a run game so they at least have to get into a big nickel, which will then make things a little bit easier. Still tough, but a little bit easier. Now, man beating routes. The routes that beat man coverage are the same that I explained in the Panthers offense, but just to talk about about it again, uh, slot apprentice corner routes with route technician do a very nice job of beating man coverage. It's sort of like that Jones route right there beats man coverage. Tight end crossing route speed man coverage, angle route speed man coverage, slant speed man coverage, a lot of motion snap route speed man coverage, some post speed man coverage if you have if you're fast enough. And I'll break down some plays that I would run, and it's really important you guys mix mix the plays that you run to defeat. Uh, man coverage up so that your opponent doesn't know what's coming basically that's the main thing just have know what beats man coverage or what concept speed man coverage what route speed man coverage and then just hit your opponent with them over and over again now i'll explain to you guys uh, some stock routes in this formation that do a nice job of beating man coverage and one of them is this thomas post route i don't know why it doesn't it doesn't look spectacular but you guys will see if i give it enough time just looking at uh thomas right here you will see how he just he just gets a step and that's 99 speed on 99 speed 99 route running on 99 main coverage 99 press but you, ju you guys just see how he gets open one more time i'll show this to you guys uh this is the play post just so you know i'm coming out in right here and it's just he just gets a step now that's about as close as it'll ever be guarded if you have someone like uh i don't even know what's that guy's name uh mclaurin Anyways, that really fast wide receiver that, that just came out with most weird. If you have that guy on that route, that's a one-play touchdown. So that has to be guarded by a zone, which will then open up some other stuff. This Jones route is very nice. So I'll just press and shade over top again because that's what most people do. And right there you see how he just gets a step. Now those are some of the routes that beat man coverage that are just in this formation. Let's now talk about some cons or some plays that I would use if I were you to get open. I would always have a tight end crosser on the field because that is just nice. Also, a tight end post works too. Tight end crosser with 90, with 90 medium route running, however, it's just really uh, juicy. So if I snap the ball right here, I can throw it to the angle route because the angle route beats main coverage. And also, the um, the tight end crosser does a very nice job of beating main coverage as well. Now, the thing is that a lot of these plays are going to be pretty similar. And it is important that you can catch your opponent off guard because you want to get them to run zone because once they run zone you can beat them way easier because zone coverage is not that great this year but you just have to be disciplined force them to get into big nickel and then run some of the man beaters that I've I've shown you for th for example this is one and once you know how to beat man coverage you can mix it up a little bit you can motion McCaffrey to the outside you can put Olsen on a drag because the tight end doesn't get bumped on a drag so he gets a free release if he's a little bit faster or has more of a more of a speed or less of a speed disadvantage than 99 speed versus on the cornerback versus some like 80 or maybe 70 speed on Olsen then you have you're gonna have more luck but one thing that's very nice also is that even if you get if your opponent presses you'll see that the tight end Olsen is going to get a free release. So if it's not like that big of a speed disadvantage, he can run away. So that's also nice about this formation that drags work on tight ends. But yeah, just get creative. Man beating routes. This angle route from the running back is beautiful. You'll see how he, he, beats, he beats man coverage, especially from a linebacker, 99% of the time. 99%. The only thing uh, that'll ever get guarded is if you have a terrible route combination and McCaffrey gets bumped by his own receiver or by a defender right at the cut of the route. That's the only time pretty much it ever has a chance of being guarded. So you guys should definitely exploit that. Not for man coverage though. The most important thing is to get them out of man coverage. And once they're in zone, we can really attack them nicely. This play right here, PA post shot, it might just be the glitchiest play that I know in Madden. Uh, it beats cover 2 and it beats an inverted cover 3. So there's very much nothing that your opponent can do to stop it unless uh, besides using it 
and besides just blitzing the hell out of you but you'll see on defense i'm in a cover two i own you have i have the two wide receivers to the wide side that's important for this i streak jones i in route olsen and now you will see how if i get enough time this is a one play touchdown now i don't know why this works it just does the safety reacts to the in route and gets kind of dragged down so this is really glitchy also this works against cover three so right here cover three sky i'm gonna invert it which is supposed to be the ultimate way of not getting one play touchdown well there still is a chance and by chance you see how we drag them down uh it's tough to get the pressure sometimes or to get the time sometimes just because especially because practice mode is pretty difficult uh, with that sort of stuff it is not easy to get the time let me tell you let me tell you i just wait right here and now again i didn't get the time trust me uh if you have some better or if you have a good o-line in ultimate team you'll get the time fairly often so that's not something to be concerned about also i just want to get all the one play beaters out of the way um this is a nice cover four beater uh this pa post shot so i'll come out in cover four drop Let's just, yeah, I want to go go against 3 4 out because obviously against the big nickel cover 4, I would run the ball 100% of the time. Like, 100%. No way you'll ever catch me passing the ball against cover 4 or against uh, 9 more for 6. But right here, you can see, we get the time. Go deep. That's what he said. And it's a one play touchdown. The only thing you need for this is you need to streak Jones and block Kittle and this guy right here. If I were you, I would have my tight end apprentice guy on the left side just because then it works a little bit better with the tight end crossing route and post route and the running back. Or I guess have the tight end and running back be on opposite sides. The tight end that has tight end apprentice. So I just wanted to show this to you guys. Great cover uh, four, cover two, and cover three. Even inverted beaters. Very nice stuff. This PA post shot is a guarantee for one play touchdown, pretty much. Talking about uh, some really, really good plays, let's talk about this uh, post because this is one of the toughest plays to stop in Madden. Uh, my first setup is to put Kittle on a curl, Jones on a hitch, Thomas on an out route, and Wheeler on McCaffrey. Uh, this is a famously called this is famously called the idiot beater by uh, one of the best guys that ran this formation last year, Civil. He calls this the idiot idiot beater because you really have to know quite a lot to stop this consistently. There's just so much open. This is especially nice against cover three. Uh, one thing that I'll show you is right there you can throw the hitch. This, this, this gets open in a very nice window uh, just because the zones in cover two work that way. Um, it's not rocket science. Just read the play. For example, if the user decides to, then also that is a th that can be a thing. Uh, against Hard Flats, you can throw the corner out. That was a very bad read. Sometimes you can fit this uh, corner out in even behind uh, even behind some cloud flats or some curl flats. But generally, you want to be disciplined and check down to the running back. Get a couple of yards on the wheel route. That's also nice. But really, uh, the toughest part of this play to stop is the left side. And once your opponent figures out how to stop that, you still have this corner out of here you can also low pass it if you want to it's just personal preference at the end of the day now this is one of the post setups that i like personally also another setup is just to run this play stock just make your read right there take the flat truck up field maybe get a couple of yards more and this is just a handful to stop if your opponent's user gets greedy and just vacates the middle of the field right there the angle route is you can make, throw the angle route for a couple of yards uh, for a couple of 10 yards, actually, that was that was a lot of yards. Right there, this uh, post route is sometimes, it can sometimes be thrown right there. It was a little bit too tight, but this is also a possibility. And one thing that definitely sh uh, should be shown, maybe not smart route, uh, is a cover three beater. Put Jones on a streak, Thomas leave him on the post, and just block tight end and halfback. Try to get the time, and right there, yeah. That actually sucked. And if I can't get it to work in practice mode, then I will not recommend it. Sorry. This is not a cover three beater. I have gotten it to work online a little bit. But you have to be very careful with the timing. Uh, because it's just it's just a very tight window. So maybe throw it right here. No, but no, no. Okay. My bad. 
not a cover three beater. Um, but this is a very nice cover two beater. I want to talk about this. Not cover two man, regular cover two. If I streak the tight end, put McCaffrey on a flat route, and I gotta move the safety back. That is a stupid thing that they do in, or that the safety does sometimes in. Uh, if you audible from cover three to cover two, but uh, put Jones on a curl just to have a backside read and motion across. Uh, if you know that the opponent is running cover two, then this is like this is so open and it is really easy to throw to. It's the window just opens up. Also, another thing that you can do uh, backside if you f if you feel like it's cover two, but it's it's baseline, so you're not sure if it's cover three. If it's cover two or maybe it's cover three and you snap you motion across and you want to run the cover two beater. Well now you can throw it to the halfback right here. Or you can throw it to the flat route over there because the curl is occupying the uh, flat over there. So th if you have the curl out there, there's also another read that you can make. Um, which is obviously very nice. Also we can just snap the ball like this. Right there the only issue is that... Um, I didn't throw the flat route immediately because I want to show you something. As soon as you see, uh, look at the flat route and the flat zone, as, or not the corner. As soon as you see that bump happen, you know that it's a curl flat. No other zone but the curl flat gets a bump like this. Let's look at the corner out again. So right there, bump. Now we know it's a curl flat. Immediately check down, try to get an air truck, get a speed boost upfield. But yeah, that's pretty much all for... No, it's, it's not all. It's all that I'm gonna, gonna break down for this video about mesh... Not mesh post. Uh, post. It is a very nice play. Attacks many coverages, destroys cover 2 down the sideline. And also, because of this uh, quote-unquote idiot beater. I won't call it idiot beater because I feel like it's trademarked. But because of this route combination right here, it's very nice. Throw the hitch. Turn up field. Get some more yards because of some good rack. And have a good time. I want to now call China double in. And for this game, you really need you really need some good tight ends. You need two good tight ends because otherwise this China double in doesn't work. And it is a very nice way of attacking cover two. I'll show you this right now. This pretty much only works against cover two. But you see, damn, I threw that way too early. Um, generally, also right there, please uh, throw to the flat route because this is just way better if you do if you throw it to the flat right there. Take it, throw it to the flat, turn it up field, get a couple of yards. This is obviously what I should have done. But a lot of the times, if you don't mind waiting, uh, you can get a little bit greedy and throw this. It's just, it's really tight. So be careful with this one, with that one, but you can throw it. Now, I made a mistake out of there. Uh, once again, only setup or only adjustment is to put a streak on Julio Jones. Backside, this Kittle route, it is amazing. It is amazing. You see this gets, it's a very nice throw. It looked pretty close right there because the zone kind of drifted back on me. But I'll throw this again. Maybe this time it'll be a little bit more open. Right there you see. We just get it over top of the zone. Once again, this is 99 speed, 99 zone. About going to be played about as well as it'll ever be. So you, you know that this works. This works. But the main, main thing, if, as soon as you see that on the right side, Throw that right there with a pass lead up the field even. And get some really easy yards. Yards off the catch. Yak. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, on a very similar note, levels wise here. Let's talk about it. This play I like. I like it because it is so easy to run. Once again, you have the flat route. Just take that and get up the field. Like It's just, it's just so much for your opponent to deal with. One more time. Just put Kittle on a streak. Oops, that's not the right play, but if, if you get caught uh, calling the wrong play, just make, if, if anything is open, just throw that immediately, because otherwise nothing will be open. Streak kill, now right there, the running back, backside, I can also hit the in route. I would have hit the running back right there, but let's just pretend that was covered. You also have the backside in route, and if your opponent really has some good coverage, and he covers the flat route, which he didn't do, covers the uh, medium or the shorter in route with his user which obviously right there threw it to where the user will be uh, you can throw the deep in route behind the user so that's also something nice one thing against cover 2 especially George Kittle he gets 
he splits the safeties. He gets kind of, he kind of gets in there. Pretty tight though. Sometimes you can make it. Sometimes you can't. Just gotta be careful with it. Um, I wanna run this against man coverage now because as a lot of the times it's tough to know when it's man coverage and when it's zone. But I want you I want you to look at this tight end. Uh, in man coverage there's gonna be a linebacker on that tight end. So if the user is nowhere near and it's man coverage, you can throw that right on break and it's a guaranteed it's a guaranteed completion. Actually no, I'm sorry, that was that was cover two. But you saw that sharp corner out got open. Not not it, not all corner outs get open, but this one right here with the sharp cut that gets open. I'll run it one more time just to uh, confirm that this does work right there on the cut. Beautiful and Olsen is not even that quick. So you see that this works. It is a very nice offense. If you want to learn everything about this offense, uh, stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you know when I'm done with the ebook. I'll then release the document just like I did with the Panthers ebook over on my Twitch. Just send me a DM, follow over there, and you'll be good to go. I appreciate you taking the time. Once again, happy Halloween, please. Guys over there, especially in the States, I know how tough it is with Corona, but please stay safe. Uh, don't do anything stupid. Be smart. Life is more, more important than going out for uh, for a party of, with friends. Also, my hair is really messy because I put the damn hat on. But stay safe. Don't let anything happen to you. Please vote smartly. And yes, best of luck. May your candidate win. And also best of luck with this scheme. Everything, like I said, will be in document. Be ready for that. See you in the next video. Appreciate you sticking it, uh, sticking until the end. Peace out. Happy Halloween.